Sergey Lipinen stops Omar Figueroa in the eighth round um, due to corner stoppage. This was an impressive win for Lipinets. This was uh, this was a nightmare for Omar Figueroa. Um, the style that he came out with would have been really, really effective against Adrian Broner, being that Broner isn't a very high volume fighter, and Figueroa is. And I feel like Figueroa's output would just, you know, overwhelmed Broner and you know, got him a wide unanimous decision. But when Broner pulled out and Lipinets was inserted, I knew that this was going to be a problem because his biggest strength is Lipinets' biggest strength. And Lipinets is a bigger explosive puncher. And it showed tonight. He he beat the brakes off of uh, Figueroa toward the latter end of that fight. Uh, stylistically, Figueroa, you know, throughout the years, just overwhelmed guys and just came forward. He took a lot of punishment, but he dished out more than what he took. But what happens is the punishment just accumulates and accumulates. And after a while, you don't have much resistance. That's the thing with that particular style is that it it, it doesn't have longevity. And Figaro's done. Like, he needs to just pack it in. He needs to retire. Do something else. This isn't worth... This, this isn't worth the quality of life that it's going to take away from you. And... I wish a lot of boxers would know, you know, when's enough's enough. And it's been enough. It's been enough. He, he's world, he was world champion, had a good career. And, you know, now it's time to just ride off to the sunset. Um, Sergey Lipinets, now he's back in the mix at 140 pounds after uh, losing to Jerron Ennis and realizing that 147 is just too much for you. Like, they, they some really big, explosive guys, and you don't want no parts of that. But, yeah, you can throw them right in the mix of 140. Now, 140 is the deepest division in boxing, hands down. You can make so many different matchups, and that I'm just excited for. Um, I'm going to throw a little shade at people. For those that said, you know, Jerron and this is a bum beater, how's that look now? I mean, only people to beat Sergey Lipinis is Mikey Garcia and Jerron Ennis two fighters that I consider the elite. So Omar Figueroa was a top 10, top 15 fighter. Majority of his career was a former world champion and Lipinets ice team. So shit, put Lipinets against Brandon Lee next. Let me see how that looks. I doubt that they'll do it, but I, I would like to see that fight. Uh, you let me know um, who do you want to see Lipinets in the ring with? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. YSM Sports Media, we out. Thank <laughs> you.